Hi, I'm Cindy Gay from the Metis Group. Lately, we've been hearing a lot about the use of assessments in the workplace, specifically for selection, but it can be a bit overwhelming trying to figure out which ones are best for your organization, much less which ones are best for certain jobs within your organization. Not all assessments are created equally, even if they're supposed to measure the exact same dimension, and determining which ones can feel a little bit overwhelming. Since I've been certified in a bunch of them and have been reviewing them for years, feeling kind of like an assessment junkie, taking them and scrutinizing them, I'm happy to share with you some different things to consider. First of all, I'd suggest considering the construct of the tool. I know, you're thinking, what? <laughs> you don't have to be a behavior expert to figure this out. Just use a little common sense. Take the assessment yourself and try to figure out how easy it is to game. As an example, there's an assessment we know that is set to measure behavior skills. And in doing so, they essentially put you in front of a buffet of fabulous food and say, which one of these look most appealing? And you could be picking all kinds of things. On the other hand, there's a competitor to that that looks at behaviors and instead of just giving you a laundry list from which to choose, gives you four choices and says, which one of these and rank them one through four do you like the best? And there'll be an appetizer, a, an entree, a side dish, and a dessert. And they'll do this several times in several iterations so that the tool is more difficult to game that way. A second consideration is how long does it take the assessment to complete? One assessment we know that measures just behaviors takes minimally 55 minutes. If you're trying to use this in an, um, an entry-level position, that may screen out the very people that you need because they're going to check out. Or if you need someone who's really great at kicking things off and setting things in motion but not seeing things through to fruition, it can be discouraging and really screen out the very type of people you need. When you're looking to fill a different type of job or you're just getting started with these, it certainly can feel overwhelming. If you'd like to have some different ideas about which ones are in the marketplace, which ones you might want to use for which types of positions, any one of us at the Metis Group would be happy to have this conversation with you. Feel free to give us a call, and with all of our years of experience with lots of different clients for lots of different positions, we'd be happy to share with you some of our expertise and give you some more information from which you can make the decision that's best for you and your organization.